after having a garden for a couple of years now, I have slowly <laughs> learned um, some things that are really important as your garden um, grows and fills in. Um, one of the most important parts of a garden is having a place to walk. Um, my first few years of gardening, I would fill in all the space thinking, I've got all this space, I'm gonna fill it with plants. And then when it um, was at its peak, I could barely walk through the garden. Um, I could, it was especially hard when you try to harvest what you had grown. So today, and not only planning where I'm going to plant things, but also planning where I'm going to walk. I thought I'd show you what I do before I plant anything, um, as far as tomatoes and peppers and that kind of thing. I plan out my garden. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll walk you through what I've already done this morning. Kind of give you an idea and um, maybe that's just food for thought. Maybe something, something to think about because we get so excited about planting, we forget we need to leave room for ourselves. Uh, we gotta have room to get in there and weed and do the work. Before we go into the garden and take a look at what I've done, I thought I would show you some essentials that I grab before I get started. Um, every year I use these. They've held up year after year. So it's nice to have a pointed end to drive into the ground. You'll see why in a minute. Also, you need some kind of twine. You're gonna need some scissors, a good hammer of any kind. I grab whatever is laying around. That's what you need. Let me take you inside the garden. Okay, let's go inside. So this year I'm making a very distinct path that will go straight through the garden. Um, and my plan is to put some, I've got a few brick pavers that I'm gonna put here. Not gonna put a lot, cause I have done that in the past and grass and weeds love to grow up around them and it's just more work. But a few stepping stones is nice just to designate a path if somebody were to come in here and work in your garden for you or with you. Um, so let me zoom out just a little bit and show you. You might can see the stakes. I hope you can see these wooden stakes. So I have got one on this end, and then you can see the three that I have down there. And I have stretched a piece of twine across each one of these stakes. When the season gets really, um, really, when the plants get really full, I have designated these spots as my walking paths. So this is, I guess you could call it my no-fly zone. This is the path. I've kind of raked all the dirt smooth in it. So this is where I will walk. Once I till my garden, I am really kind of serious about not walking over the dirt. Once you get it loosened up, you don't want to walk through it again. It packs down your dirt and it really is going to pack down any kind of seeds from weeds and grasses that were already there. So try not to walk on it after you till it. Um, so I put these strings. Um, this year I'm giving myself almost two feet. It sounds like a huge sacrifice of dirt where I could be planting things, but trust me, this is important. So inside these strings is where you can walk. And on the other side of the strings is where I will plant my plants. So, um, so I'll have wide rows is my favorite. So I do wide rows of plants here. I can walk here, access both sides. This is where my tomatoes are going to go. And then these are my onions that are already there and established. So that is why it's important to put walkways. Go ahead and think about that ahead of time because once your plants get big, it's too late. They've overgrown and you're not gonna wanna cut them back. Oh, and one other tip, right around my fence. I don't ever even, we won't even till this. I won't loosen the soil. All this right here is a walkway. It does um, get really beat down and hard. So over the years, it's just become my permanent walkway. So. That's just a little tip for today. Hope that helps you out a little bit. One other thing that's important about these walking paths, um, you can probably see where I've got the dirt kind of piled up. I take dirt away from the walking paths. I take my garden rake and just rake the really rich soil into the rows where I'm gonna be planting my plants. Um, that gets it out of the walkway and more of the soil into the planting area. And then, when I'm planting, I have lots and lots of loose, rich soil that I can use to put on my wide rows. Um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about with wide rows, I'll do a little video on those. I make the rows really wide and you kind of build them up and you do need some extra soil to kind of bury everything. So 
that's why I've got the soil kind of mounded up on the edges. Okay, so I've got my walking paths designated. They're roped off in between my rows and then I've laid my bricks. 